Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to Just the Children's Message. What happens on the Mount of Transfiguration in Matthew 17 is nothing short of amazing. The divinity of Jesus shines through just a little, just a fraction, and he is transformed before their eyes. Transformed, transfigured. Transfigure means to become more than something was before, or at least shown to be something more in the case of Jesus. Moses and Elijah bear witness there alongside Peter and James and John. And honestly, there's a lot going on. Feel free to hit up the sermon for a little more. I'll drop a link. For our children's message, though, the takeaway is when the Father says, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. The things that Jesus says are for our children as well. His commandments, his instruction, to be sure, that's the law. Also his promises, the gospel. Never be afraid to share the teachings of Jesus with your kids. They often understand it better than we do because they hear Jesus and they believe. They listen. God bless you, my friends. Until next time. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak, but He is... Welcome aboard, my friends. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, my little. Uh, Today, in our Gospel reading, something really cool happened. Jesus and Peter and James and John are all up on the mountain, and that wasn't very unusual. Jesus liked to hike. He liked to be outside. And so him calling the disciples to go do that, that was normal. Usually when they would do that, they would go pray together. But something special happened this time. You just heard it in the reading. What happened that was special? Um, I don't know. Something happened to Jesus. They were looking at him, and... Yeah. Go ahead, you're both on the same track. Oh, he got changed? Yeah, he was changed. He started to shine before them. Have you ever been outside on a really sunny day? You yeah. almost You almost can't look at it. And I know your parents have told you, don't look at the sun. <coughs> Why aren't you supposed to look at the sun? It's bad for your eyes. Right, it's bad for your eyes. It'll blind you. And you make yeah. us sneeze. It, it does also make you us sneeze. Sunglasses. In our household, anyway. You need sunglasses for the sun. Right, you'd need sunglasses to protect your eyes. That's how shiny Jesus was. He was showing and it was being revealed that he was not just the Son of God, but truly God. And so, very shiny, very impressive. And they looked and Moses and Elijah were there. Those were old guys from the Bible, but they were very important. What this meant was that all of God's word was about Jesus. They were all bearing witness to Jesus. And Peter says something silly. He likes to help out. Do you all like to help out at home? Yes. Good. Peter likes to help out. He says, Jesus, I'll build some tents if you want. And Jesus doesn't answer. And a cloud surrounds them. And God the Father says, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. And what does he say at the end? He says, listen to him. And then the cloud goes away and all they're left with is Jesus. You're also left with Jesus. And you are told to listen to him. When Jesus tells you, that's funny. Uh, when Jesus tells you to love your neighbor, is that for you? When, Je when, when Jesus says, tell the truth, is that for you to listen? Yes. When Jesus says he loves you, is that for you to listen to? Yes. When Jesus says, honor your father and mother, how about that one? Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. I got you. When he also says that you are important and special and that you have value, should you listen to that too? That's true. No matter how tall, no matter how short, no matter how wiggly, no matter how still, you are a beloved child of God. All of that is said by Jesus. A few weeks ago I asked you, or I told you if you memorize some scripture I'd give you stickers. I still have that promise, by the way. Anytime you memorize the Word of God, you're listening to Jesus. 
Anytime you do what he tells you to do, you're listening to Jesus. I encourage you all to do what? Yes, and to listen to Jesus. Y'all want to bow your heads, fold your hands, and pray with me? Congregation, you may pray as well. Dear Jesus, help us listen to you. Help us to lead a good life. Following you. Being faithful. And helping others. In your name we pray. Amen.